It's important to understand that blueprints must be applied or published to the live system in the order in which they were created. Good blueprint management helps you avoid publishing errors and overriding valuable changes. Use the following naming convention when working with blueprints to help keep track of their order. Name your blueprint file using the current four-digit year, two-digit month, two-digit day, and 24-hour time of when you created the blueprint. Do this with each blueprint you create. This naming convention is a simple way to help you keep your blueprints in order. When you create a new blueprint, save it immediately. Once you save, the name of the blueprint you're working with appears at the top of the blueprint editor. Remember, blueprints only capture changes to objects you make in the blueprint editor. If you do not make a change to a particular object, it will not be included in your blueprint. Objects that have been edited are marked with the pencil icon. Additional detail about the changes included in the current blueprint are available from the Blueprint Changes option in the File menu. Think of a blueprint as a snapshot of your system at the time that blueprint was created. When you work in a blueprint, you are making offline changes to that system snapshot. The changes you make in your blueprint don't become live until you publish that blueprint to your Showell system. Publish the current open blueprint in the Blueprint Editor by clicking Publish Blueprint from the Blueprint section of the task pane or from the File menu. Good blueprint management is vital whether you're working on a single system or migrating changes from one system to another. In this Blueprint scenario, only Blueprint C is aware of the changes made in Blueprint A because C was created after A was published. Publishing Blueprint B has the potential to conflict with changes in Blueprint A if both blueprints contain changes to the same business objects. This is because Blueprint B was created before Blueprint A was published. In short, both Blueprint A and Blueprint B are the same system snapshot. Likewise, Blueprint C is unaware of changes made in Blueprint B, and so here is also a potential for conflict. Best practice is to create and publish a given blueprint before creating another. In this scenario, each blueprint is aware of the changes made by previous blueprints because each blueprint is created after its predecessor has been published. Here, there is no risk of conflicts or accidental overwriting of changes. Managing the order of your blueprints is also important when you want to migrate changes from one system to another, say, from a test system to a production system. Publishing blueprints out of order during migration can cause errors during publishing. This is also where our naming convention comes in handy. Because we have used the sortable date and time of the blueprint's creation as file names, we know the precise order in which those blueprints need to be applied to a new system. Another blueprint management tool Sherwell provides is the rollback blueprint. A rollback blueprint can be automatically generated when you publish your original blueprint. Use the rollback blueprint to undo the changes from your original blueprint if the need arises. To use a rollback blueprint, just open and publish it like any other blueprint. Rollback blueprints are created with the same file name as the original blueprint, but with underscore rollback appended to it. Our date and time naming convention helps us manage the order of our rollback blueprints as well. In the event that you must roll back several blueprints at once during a migration, you must apply the relevant rollback blueprints in the reverse order in which they were applied. And since we're naming our blueprint files according to the date and time they were created and applying them in that order, applying their rollback blueprints in reverse is easy. Let's review.
As we discussed, normal blueprints are applied in the order in which they were created, from earliest to latest, or in ascending file name order under our naming convention. Rollback blueprints, on the other hand, are applied in the reverse order in which they were created, from latest to earliest, or in descending file name order. In other words, when we roll back blueprints, we start by rolling back the last blueprint published and go backwards to the first blueprint in the sequence. Share will offer several ways to manage your blueprints, and a solid ordered naming convention can help you make the best of those tools.